How clean is your toothbrush? Maybe not as clean as you think. Hi, I'm Dr. Heidi Dickerson, and welcome to LVI TV, your dental news source. We all have shared a bathroom with someone at some point or another. Some of us still do. Last week, we dropped our son Hunter off at Syracuse University. Go orange, man. And I witnessed firsthand the community bathroom my son will be using. I wasn't too concerned until now. Some downfalls of sharing a bathroom are towels on the floor, empty toilet paper rolls, falling into the toilet when someone forgets to put the seat down. But it can get even worse. Do you think your toothbrush is clean? I honestly think mine is. I'm the only one who uses it. I rinse it well after use and I store it by itself. But I was shocked by a recent study presented at the American Society for Microbiology annual meeting in New Orleans. They found that more than 60% of toothbrushes collected from students' shared bathrooms tested positive for fecal matter. Ooh, you mean there was poop on their toothbrushes? Studies say yes. That is disgusting. To make it even worse, researchers found there was an 80% chance that the fecal matter was other people using the bathroom. This means bacteria, viruses, and parasites that are not your own are on your toothbrush. <laughs> now, you may think, well, I'll just cover up my toothbrush when I'm done and use it later, but this actually will encourage bacteria to spread. The bristles stay moist, the toothbrush doesn't dry before uses, and bacteria growth gets worse. So what should we do to protect our toothbrushes and ourselves? Don't openly store any of them in the bathroom. Wash your hands before brushing your teeth. Avoid sharing toothbrushes. Don't cover them or store them in closed containers. This encourages bacterial growth. Rinse them after use and allow them to dry. Store them upright. Clean your toothbrush holder once a week. Don't let toothbrushes touch. Change up your toothbrush every three months, immediately if you have been sick. Sanitize them with UV sanitizers. And for God's sake, stop brushing your teeth on the toilet, guys. Well, I hope we all learned a little something about dental and other hygiene today. But before I go, I just wanted you to know Medical News Today reported that one to six cell phones are contaminated with fecal matter. I'm just saying. See you next time on LVI TV. Don't forget to like us and subscribe. I'm your host, Dr. Heidi Dickerson. Is it being refreshed and changed and updated and even things that were the standard last year, they found, hey, there's a better way to do it, a more efficient way to do it. Uh, morbidly obese group, BMI of 40 to 49.9, the prevalence was 74%. And for the super obese group, a BMI of 50 to 59.9, 77%. Something to do with your bite. And I said, no, <laughs> I have not. Uh, so we started uh, on this journey for those two reasons. 